Welcome to your market update and charts of the day for today, Friday, the 8th of March. We hope you're well. Greg Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening in the midpoint of the Asian session as we approach the end of the week. Just so looking across the news, of course, overnight we saw US equities make more gains in the overnight session after the Fed chairman suggested rate cuts maybe soon, which was well received by markets and we also are seeing data that's coming in okay we've got the non-farm perils tonight of course uh, so we saw gains across the board we saw the s p 500 and the nasdaq hit new highs u.s futures however are new neutral in early asian trading today asian markets following that positive u.s lead with the asx trading towards the high of the session at almost one percent to the upside european equity futures are pointing to a cautiously positive open this afternoon after a bad day yesterday, the US dollar index dropped further again. Uh, now it's at January levels, and consequently, of course, gold was a beneficiary. It closed at record highs once again. A little bit of a pause in Asia. Copper also moved to the upside, testing that important 392 level that we've referenced earlier in the week. And oil is also a test and resistance, so a good session for commodities. Bitcoin is still pausing just below that P69,000 level, trading around mid 67,000 at the moment it's tested this level a few times during the course of the week which is of course record high so it's not surprising really to see a pause there on the data front as well as that non-farm payrolls we've got german ppi and industrial production big news out of europe with the gdp and jobs data due also so plenty for the market to digest even though it is a friday the charts are caught all right today let's start with the euro yen we saw some euro strength towards the back end of the session after really not doing particularly well during the Asian and European sessions yesterday, which has brought us back up to 162, just trading underneath this level at 162.10. We see a pretty clean potential opportunity of around about 35 pips to the upside, possibly even up a little higher than that, maybe even towards 162.55, which would be a 55 pip gain from this resistance level we've put on the chart. On the ASX, as we said, we're having a positive day here. We're looking at trading the wind that today it's limited, ticker code TWE. And you can see we've had several attempts to breach this 1245 level, and we look as though we've cried again this morning. Be interesting to see if we do get a breach by the end of the session. To put this into longer term context, you can see the weekly chart here and the importance of this level. So if we do breach, we could put a price target on here of around about that sort of $13 level, perhaps a little higher, uh, which would be a gain of around about 4.5% from that breakout level. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.